Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. Today we will be using junk mail envelopes to create these beautiful pockets. So what it is, it's, it's a pocket here and there's also a pocket here. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how I use them in my junk journals. I got this idea from Ephemeris Vintage Garden and it was in one of her flip throughs. I can't remember which video, but I will link down her channel down below. So I'm going to make a few on camera and hopefully inspire you to make something beautiful today. This project is very satisfying because we're pretty much just using junk. So we've got junk mail envelopes and then book pages and random pieces of fabrics and papers and scrapbook papers, you know, leftovers from previous projects and things like that. So let's get started. Okay, what I've got here is some envelopes I've been collecting for a little while. I've got some book pages and just this box of scraps of, you know, some fabrics, some papers and like die cuts like this and stickers and whatever, you know. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose my envelope. I like the black on the inside. You can see most of the, all of these ones that I did have this black on the inside often they comes uh, with blue or red but I like the black so I will choose a black and another thing to keep in mind is also the back because we'll be folding it this way then you know it might be nicer to have an envelope that has a clear back so I'll just see if I've got I'll just choose maybe a couple this is all right uh, I'm happy with that maybe I'll do these three okay and the next thing that we do oh this one's blue that's okay I'll accept I'll accept the blue. So the next thing that I do is just fold it. You can choose how much you want to fold up. So I like to cover a little bit of this window. I'm not sure why, but if you want to keep the whole window, you can fold it a little bit less. I like to fold it up a little bit further. And maybe I can, you know, choose a size and then go by that size. So usually I like to make them all about the same size. But also just make sure that your envelope is open here as well before folding. Mine are all already open on the side because I always open my envelopes there. But some people, you know, open it here. So just make sure that your envelope is open because that will be your pocket. And so I have folded them up now. And the next thing that I'm going to do, so all of this writing, I of course want to cover. I don't want to see any of that writing. So the next thing that I do, I take a book page and I like to make like a, a slanted kind of rip, I guess. Just sort of measure, you know, how much I want it to go down to about you know, as long as it's hidden underneath the flap and I want my piece of paper to be covering all of the writing that I've got here. I'm going to do the same thing for all of my envelopes. And okay, now the fun part. So what I'll do next is I'll just start layering different things on here. So I would like to start off if you have some different uh, colored writing or book pages uh, I think it will look nice, you know, different fonts and different colors. So I'm just layering. I'm just going to start layering. I'm going to speed this process up. So I might just ink them a little bit while I'm at it, uh, just so they stand out a little bit more. This stage is a play stage, so you can do whatever you like in this decorating stage and it, everyone is going to look completely different so now I might start adding some more different elements now I might like to add a little bit of material some type of a fabric I'm gonna use this piece but it's, it's all scrunched up so when I put it through my sewing machine that will look okay just want to see what else maybe I can add. Now maybe some uh, some scrapbook paper if I've got some little offcuts. I'd like to use this. Maybe that, maybe that. Okay, so I've just got a couple of pieces there. And now I'm just playing around with where I'm going to place things. So I think I'm going to put that one on the edge. 
Now that I've decided on my placement and where everything is going, I'm just going to glue uh, these top pieces down onto the book page because I will be taking it to my sewing machine. I don't, I'm not trying to do a really good job on, of gluing everything down. If I wasn't going to use my sewing machine, I would definitely uh, glue all the edges, everything. But here, I'm just applying a little bit of glue just to hold it in place until I get to my sewing machine. And now I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'll just do a bit of zigzagging and a bit of sewing here and there. I just sewed down two different stitches here and see how that makes a big difference. It's, uh, it adds so much character just on its own. I just like to uh, move all of my threads onto the inside but you, you can certainly just cut the threads off. And now just for the final touch I'm going to ink the edges. Now that that's done, I'm just going to glue this right on top of this, just like that. Here's the second one that I did. So I just layered a few different bits and pieces. Anything you put on is going to look good, especially if you have things like die cuts and things like that. But I was just using scraps of things that I have and sewing them together or gluing them together next to each other so it's like a collage type little thing so it's just playing around and uh, choosing things that perhaps go together and here's the third one so i have just layered one two three four pieces just four pieces this one isn't even sewn on straight and it doesn't bother me it's just a little bit of interest and i think it will look great so i'm going to glue them down Okay, so for my next step, what I want to do is uh, cover this writing here. And generally, I like to have something across the top here, just to emphasize that that also is a pocket. So things that I can add is, you know, more scrap paper. Maybe I'll put that on over here. Uh, I can use these little strips from the large scrapbook pieces, the, the strips that we cut off on the bottom. So maybe I can do something like this. And then... Uh, I made these just strips of paper that I've um, sewn together, little ruffles. That looks quite nice too. So I'm going to do that next. I'll speed up the process. Okay, now that that's done, for this next part, I'm going to do this on camera with my sewing machine. But what I want to do next is add a little bit of lace, you know, some type of ruffled lace, uh, whatever you have on hand, you know. It can be old bed sheets or whatever you have on hand. So I'm just going to do that. Uh, and I'm going to use this lace that I've just cut up. And I'm going to bring my sewing machine so you can see how I sort of ruffle it up. Okay, so here is my sewing machine and my piece of lace that I want to use. So I'm just going to open up my envelope just like that. And I might do a straight stitch or a zigzag stitch. I'll do a straight stitch on this one and then maybe a zigzag stitch on the other ones. And just somewhere around the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just going to messily ruffle it up. And here we go, that's what that one looks up like. So now I'm going to cut off the excess. I don't mind a little bit of it hanging over the edge. Okay, I'm gonna do the other ones now. Okay, so this is what I've done. I only had a little bit of lace left here and that's what I used, so it's fine. I'm happy with that. Uh, one thing that I forgot to do before sewing my lace on is ink everything, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to do it now, so it doesn't really matter when you do it. So what I do is, because I wanted to, I mean, you can tea dye this in advance, but I've just been inking it with my um, ink, and the one that I use is, you can't even see anymore, vintage photo. It doesn't really matter. And then I just ink it up, just like this. All over. And because I forgot to do this before sewing my lace on, I'm just going to move it out of the way. No big deal. Okay, and that looks nice and tea dyed or, you know, uh, aged, I guess. 
and there's just one more thing to do which is gluing these down but before I do that I want to make sure that my tops are also open so this one is open I'm going to open this one and it doesn't matter you know when you do what I mean you can do all of this first and then start embellishing but it doesn't matter okay so that's all open so now what I want to do is just glue my flaps down so I am only going to apply glue to the sides here and there so that then this can also be a pocket so now you can keep going with this if you prefer I think I might add just a little bit I've got these little um, cutouts little hearts I might add you know I can do anything really I can add a little butterfly or a little sentiment or I just like these little hearts we don't really need to add anything more but we can so something like this you know just to kind of tie it all in together you can use little cutouts from books um, these are all fussy cutouts so maybe a little butterfly like this or maybe I like that one there anything anything you do is going to look good there are no you know you can't go wrong with this maybe something like this I don't know anything that you put on is going to look good okay so I've just added those final little touches I mean we can keep going and going with this um, I'm going to leave the pockets empty but when they're ready to go into a journal I might add like little things in there like I don't know journaling spots and things like that but for now I think I might leave them empty and then even if you have little tags or something with an image on it like this it adds extra character something like this you know but for now I'm going to leave them empty and use them in a journal as I'm working in a journal and then don't forget also this is a pocket too so that can also be utilized I think it looks good just the way it is you can see that in the ones that I've made I followed the similar kind of pattern that you know I've used in all of them I've got this cluster here I've got something across the top and I've got a little uh, lace ruffle down the bottom you know when you have kind of let's call it a formula it's easier to create so you don't have to think too much but you know they all are exactly the same thing this one's a little bit different I added these flowers some stamping materials like this you know some words things like that so the way that I would use this in a journal for example is maybe have it on glued onto the front cover like this and then you can have inside here a letter from the bookmaker this journal belongs to tag whatever you think might look nice on the first page you can also have it as a floating pocket for example like this something like this you know it's a floating pocket which means that it can be removed so can be removed and moved around from page to page or even if you just clip in even if you just clip in the bottom part so it's there and then if you have pockets in journals you know I don't have anything in here because this is a naked journal but you can you know pop it in a, inside a pocket or on the back cover or you know there's so many things you can include it in happy mail and in little packs of goodies that you sent with your orders or whatever you know there's just I think it looks really beautiful and adds so much beauty to a journal so uh, possibilities are endless you do what you feel like doing anything you add is going to look great so I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial let me know what you guys think thank you so much for being here for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye